electric current was initially discovered as a result of a chemical reaction. In the first place, scientists were attracted by the chemical effect of the current. They noticed that when current passes through electrolytes, then substances contained in the solution or gas bubbles are released. By passing current through water, it was possible, for example, to decompose it into oxygen and hydrogen. This reaction is called water electrolysis. This very property of the current formed the basis of the first electric telegraphs, which are called electrochemical. In 1809, Bavaria Academy received the first project of such telegraph. It was invented by Samuel Zomering. He suggested using gas bubbles for communication. The bubbles were released upon passing of the current through the acidified water. Zomering's telegraph consisted of the following components, voltaic pile A and alphabet B. The latter consisted of 24 separate wire leads which were connected with the voltaic pile by wire which was plugged into pins apertures. The telegraph also had a cable consisting of 24 wires wound together and alphabet C. The latter fully corresponded to set B and was fitted onto a message receiving station. Here all wires went through the bottom of a glass vessel with water. The telegraph had an alarm clock with a lever and a spoon. If Zomering wanted to telegraph, he would first send a signal to the second station using the alarm clock. He would plug two poles of a semiconductor into loops B and C. The current would pass through a semiconductor and water in a C1 glass vessel. The current would decompose water. The bubbles would accumulate under the spoon and raise it to the position shown by the dotted line. Then a movable lead ball would roll into a funnel under its own weight and go down into the cup, thus causing operation of the alarm clock. After everything on the station was ready for receiving messages, the transmitting party would connect wire poles in such way that the electric current would pass successively through all letters constituting the message. The bubbles would also separate from the corresponding letters of the other station. Later Schweiger simplified the telegraph significantly. He reduced the number of wires to only two. Schweiger introduced various combinations in the passage of current. For instance, he introduced different types of current duration and thus different durations of water decomposition. But still such telegraph was too complex, it was quite tiresome to watch gas bubbles being released, and the operation was too slow. That is why the electrochemical telegraph was not used widely.